What is the Imaginary Audience? by Hayden, Kai, and Corinne. Kids in all shapes and sizes can get the Imaginary Audience. Imaginary Audience can start around 6th to 12th grades with 8th through 9th grades being the most sensitive. In addition, teenagers in middle school are more susceptible to the Imaginary Audience, meaning it is easier for them to get and harder for them to get rid of. Imaginary Audience isn't a disease or a sickness, or a physical struggle, it's a mental struggle. When you first learn or hear about the imaginary audience, you might think people judging others on their looks or what they're wearing. But it's so much more than that. Many teens are struggling with imaginary audience because of social media, how they appear to others, and they're always feeling like they're being compared. Mr. Porco, principal of the small charge school, says that social media plays a big part in the imaginary audience. Middle school is an appropriate age to be introduced to social media because you're starting to be more exposed and getting ready to be out in the world as a young adult. Due to mostly adolescence, social media can cause you to be on the path of the imaginary audience. Always remember, less social media equals less imaginary audience. Social media doesn't help. It makes it worse, because if your friend got 86 likes and you only got 4 likes, you might be afraid to share more things digitally, for example, on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and it would be discouraging. Being on social media for too long is not good. Instead, use it for a little time. That is healthy. There's no question about it. Social media can be harmful, so it's always a good idea to take precautions suggested or approved by a trusted adult. Another thing that can trigger the imaginary audience is wanting to be popular. It does not just mean school popularity. Popularity can happen in many different ways. Popularity, or wanting popularity, can make you feel self-conscious about yourself. It may cause you to second-guess your decisions that you can't control, it can, and it can make you feel overwhelmed and stressed. 11-year-old Helene Sullivan is worried about saying something stupid in school because mistakes will not be forgotten. I feel like whatever I'm going to say is going to be on everyone's mind all of the time, she said. That is a quote from an article called When the Imaginary Audience Becomes Real. Teens may feel like they have an imaginary audience because they are always worried about how they appear to others. Something to help us with that is a growth mindset. This means knowing that you have the power to improve. Also, a growth mindset is when a student or anybody really understands that their abilities can be developed. This is important to remember if you struggle with the imaginary audience because it's about knowing that you can grow and that it's okay to change. Instead of feeling like a loser, you should learn from your mistakes. The easiest solution to the imaginary audience is to avoid it whenever possible, but sometimes that's not the case. A big problem takes a long time to master. Another great thing to remember when you're trying to overcome the imaginary audience is your friends. Make sure you have good friends that lift you up and help you overcome imaginary audience. Because it's a hard thing, and we need people that walk beside us, not against us. Teenagers tend to be scared about messing up on the littlest things, like pushing on a pull door. This may sound silly, but it can be a huge deal for some young adults. Teenagers and young adults who are going through adolescence are examples of people who struggle with this. Imaginary audience refers to the tendency of adolescents to falsely assume that their appearance or behavior is the focus of other people's attention. If they're focused on stuff like that, there must be other struggles too, like getting behind in school or not spending enough time on important stuff. There are many tips and suggestions researchers have come up with to help teens with the imaginary audience. You can better, be, better overcome the imaginary audience if you remember how you are smart and what you are good at. In conclusion, there are many aspects to imaginary audience, but there are also many things we can learn from and about imaginary audience to better equip us for the future and take us on our life path to greatness. Thanks for watching.